how to add a simple product. In the sidebar, you go down to products, add new. As you can see, simple product is the first one that comes up. Here, you can add your product title. For, for this specific one, I will have a Jesus and T t-shirt. That is the title of my product. Here is the picture for, that comes up on the main page. This is your main photo that customers would look at and eventually buy from. Our Jesus and T t-shirt is already there. This is one t-shirt, one size, which makes it a simple product. We're going to price this t-shirt at $19.99. If I wanted to do a sale price, I can add a sale price here. And if I wanted the sale price for a specific amount of time, I will, I will click on schedule down here. And this is the from up to the date that I want it to end. Here, we write our short description, Jesus and T t-shirt. You can add a, sh a longer description than this. Here, you can add a very long description. We encourage you to be as detailed as possible so that the customers know what to expect, especially if your item is gently worn. Customers always want to know exactly in what condition the item is. Here, you will add secondary photos. So you can add another photo here. If I had another photo of the Jesus and T t-shirt, it'll come up here. If I wanted to add another photo to the category, I add another block and another photo can also be added here. I only have this photo, so I'm using the same photo to show duplicates. Here, you add your category. We have categories already in the gently worn, home decor, handmade, hair care, on sale, sticker, bags, but you also have the option to add your very own category. So you add your category name here and you can add it under the parent category of one that we already have. So if you want another category under handmade, you can add the category here. Here's where your long description goes. Here is where you add your SKU, which is, it refers to the stock keeping unit. So it's a unique identifier if you have one. If you want to manage your stock, for example, if this is, if this has only, if you only have two of these shirts in inventory, you would add two. Uh, if you want to allow back orders, you can. If you don't, you don't have to, but you can, uh, you can say allow, but notify customer. That way, your customer knows and they're able to get it. They, once they purchase an item, they get an email telling them that this item is back ordered. So it tells them that it won't arrive as, as fast as, it, as, as they were probably expecting it. If you want to sell this individually, um, you can do this so that this item is only bought under one order, meaning they can't purchase any other item with this item in their shop. This is perfect for sales, perfect if you just want to run uh, uh, a sale with one specific item and you don't want any, any other item in your store uh, to be used uh, under a specific coder. Uh, down here, you can add shipping. You can, it's, 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 this is perfect to add the weight of the item. That way it is automatically calculated via USPS. At checkout, dimensions, which is the length, with height. Processing time, this is a great option to have because it is a time required before sending the product for delivery. 
So we have options, right? It's ready to ship in one business day, one to two, one to three. So you have the option to do this. And once you add it, if you choose to add it, it will come up on the product page. You, if you already have a shipping created and you prefer, if you wanna override that shipping, you can do that for a specific product. That way the shipping cost will be for this product only. So you here, you would have to add the additional price for that. And if you wanna add an additional price per quantity, so if I have one, uh, two items, I can add a separate price, uh, a separate price for, for each that way. Um, every, so every second product of the same type will be charged with this price. Um, here, you can uh, add, if it's a taxable standard, um, your attributes are always very, very important. We have many attributes, but you also can add your own attribute. So you add the name of the attribute that you want, like uh, color, we already have color, um, and you can add that in there. So you have the option of adding your own attributes for your item. Linked, if you are using, um, if you, if so, these are the products that you want uh, as an upsell, meaning these are products which you recommend instead of currently viewed products. For example, products, products that are more profitable or better quality or more expensive. So you want people to see other products from your shop. So this is perfect uh, up sales and, and then the cross sales, which is great because uh, the cross sales come, come, these products come up when, a, when a, uh, a customer is about to check out. SEO is also very important. You can add your key phrase. This helps you uh, helps uh, Google find your product a little bit easier, your meta description as well. Um, here are your product policies. If you have a specific policy for a specific product, um, if you wanna change or override what you already have, you can do that. You can also add a, a policy tab label. And under advance, you can allow uh, a customer to leave a review or not. So you can check that off. Uh, the menu order, custom ordering position, um, and then you have your purchase note. So once a customer buys from you, they get a purchase note. And once you do that, you click on submit. And as you can see, the product has successfully published. And if you want to take a look at your product, you just click on this eye. So this little eye icon, and here is the product already ready and available. Thank you for watching.